Hey, what's up, guys? I'm uh, going to do a quick little video here. Uh, this is some uh, running video from yesterday. Um, you can see our cl chem clown buddies were out in force blocking that area. That's, that's where I'm shooting. That's where they're dropping. It's like a little game we play here. I mean, you know, these guys might as well give it up because, I, I mean, I got so many pictures of this incoming that, it, you know, they might as well just stop. They're just wasting money, wasting petrol. But, hey, you know, we all do what we do. You can see them dropping right here. You saw that one in the prior frame. There's another one. Uh, the, the commentary image I was looking at uh, showed up about right here where they got a pretty good covering. Uh, I just, I guess I have to wait till they refuel to get a clear day. And that's kind of silly games that we play with the chem clowns. Chem clowns, you're losing. I'm winning. Come on. Give it up. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's pouring through there pretty good. Uh, that cometary object was about right here. Yeah, right there. And it does overlay that, that dark cloud. Uh, that doesn't mean that it's a uh, camera anomaly because the uh, infrared has been known to kind of cut through those clouds and see uh, the, any infrared uh, light behind the cloud. So uh, that vote's still out on that guy, but it has been running there for three days straight. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. Um, got some other images I took with the Lumix uh, uh, camera retrofitted for uh, infrared, so it's a dedicated infrared. Same area of the sky I've been shooting at. Look at this. Perfect cross. Right there, right there. Here's the center of the object. Um, so that's changed. I mean, that's, it's been the same object I've been capturing on video, been capturing on still for the uh, last number of months. So uh, pretty interesting. Got a big cross in the sky now in the infrared. Uh, it was shot in the infrared. It was also brought in uh, via uh, uh, Lightroom and further infrared filtering applied. And so uh, very clear uh, cross in the sky out there in the infrared. No, you will not see that with the naked eye. Uh, this thing only seems to pop out uh, with that kind of detail with uh, some infrared filtering or an infrared camera. Uh, every now and then you, you get lucky and catch a, a you know visible image of this, but uh, I could go out every day and take that same picture. It'll still be there. Uh, so it's uh, it's changed. We got a big cross in the sky now, which I find interesting. And uh, uh, I can't really tell if it's any larger or if it's holding its own. The only things that's changed is it, is it, is it does appear as a cross right now. So. Uh, anyway, uh, when the chem clowns uh, refuel, I'll get out on a clear day and continue some uh, photography efforts here. There it is again with the uh, different uh, different infrared filtering. Uh, pretty large object, no doubt about it. Seems to be rather stationary. Uh, hard to tell. Uh, so I think I have a. Um, I want to give you guys an idea of where to look for that in the sky. So uh, thinking it's up around the head and shoulders of uh, Virgo uh, is where you'd want to look. Uh, here we've got Ison down here, uh, just at the head of Cancer. So yeah, if you look uh, on Virgo and concentrate your efforts there, I think uh, you could have some good success. Uh, I'm just going to throw in some uh, pictures of some field work I did. Peace out. Keep the faith. Jesus rules. Over and out.